Welcome back guys. Uh, we're doing a update video for you. We actually have a, a customer's diff that came in that is a really good example to show you guys what fails on these. Even with reinforcement caps, um, this is a company, CompTech, used to make this reinforcement cap with ARP bolts back in the day and this one has failed. So this one has an aftermarket LSD in it already. So that, you know, that takes out a little bit of the shock load that you would get from the OEM LSD, um, but it has still failed. This is a turbocharged application. So this is higher horsepower than factory. Um, but even with the reinforcement cap and the studs, this one has still failed. And if you look on this side, so you can see there's not a lot of, not a lot of gear left. Uh, gear and pinion completely trashed. I mean, big, big dent in the LSD. I mean, when you have one of these fails, it does a lot of damage. Um, but the side, you know, the gears are always trying to push themselves away from each other. So you're never really going to have a cap or bearing failure on this side of the LSD. It's always going to be on the outside of the ring gear where the LSD is trying to be pushed away. And what you can see here is even with the ARP bolts, it has moved this cap enough that it allowed the teeth to slip on the nut and push it out and actually crack it. And what that did is it allowed all of this play, you know, you lost your backlash here on your carrier bearing. Then you lose all of your, turn around this way, you lose all of your gear, uh, your gear teeth engagement and it rips all the teeth off. And then once you got teeth pieces sitting in there like this, you know, they go around and get caught in between the pieces and just wreak havoc and destroy the whole thing. Now, one thing I will say is even these ARP bolts, while these have a higher clamping load, you know, these are a higher torque rating than the OEM bolts and the OEM bolts are, are a torque to yield. So this is definitely a better bolt, but this is still only giving you a higher clamping load, which is just giving you which is only giving you more clamping load on this surface against your diff housing surface. So you're still, you're still trying to rely on these two surfaces to stop this cap from moving, just, just based on friction. And that's not enough. I mean, that does not, does not fix the problem. And the issue is, which I'm sure if we take these loose, which of course is not 14, So I imagine that these have the same problem. Oh, let's see, where's my mallet at? Oh, and they held, held those on there with a Phillips. So if we take this off here, So without that ring in there, so you can see that this cap still fits no tighter than the factory, than with the factory bolts. So while these are stronger, these do give you more clamping load they still have the same sloppy tolerance to the caps. So it still allows this to move. This thing was able to move out, which this is easily one thread of movement on this. And once it allows it to move a little bit, this thing's able just to pop out or cock sideways as it was. You get your backlash in the gear and it all just explodes. You know, and then you can see where it even cracked, it even cracked this piece here, you know, ruining it. So, I mean, it pretty much destroys every single piece and that's with a reinforcement collar and bolt set already on it. So this is what we're trying to avoid. So I want people to understand what the problem is. The problem is not that the cap's not strong enough. This cap is not broken. There's no cracks in it. The bolts didn't break. Nothing failed other than this 
being able to jump out a tooth or two and get all the backlash in the ring and pinion. So those of you guys who haven't watched the first video, we have a original video on our reinforcement kit and how it addresses the problems with the factory bolts. So this is kind of just a refresh. Uh, but since we have been doing these, we've had a lot of people that were requesting buying just the reinforcement kit. Uh, if you have a machine shop that you trust, it's not very difficult to have these, where's that cap at? It's not very difficult to have these caps. These holes just need to be reamed out to match the studs. Cause as you can see, the studs, the studs don't fit. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we have, well, we sold quite a few kits now, just the kit itself. And I'll sell it with instructions explaining to your machine shop what size these holes need to be reamed out to. And then um, you or somebody else who understands how to put a differential together with the proper backlash can easily assemble this with the stud kit yourself without having to ship in your, um, your differential. Now I will say if you are going to send your differential in, we have found that sending this UPS ground versus trying to ship freight has been way more affordable. We pretty much can get ship it anywhere around in the United States for about $150, which is way cheaper than like freight wants nearly 300. So, um, so it's not super, super expensive to send it in and have us do it. And the price for the kit, which here is, so here's everything that comes with the kit. You'll get your four studs, four washers, four C-lock nuts. These are the same nuts that they're oddball shaped so they pinch on the studs, they cannot come loose. Uh, you get your pinion collar with enough shims to get the proper pinion setting that replaces the um, crush sleeve, which, you know, another weak failure point. We talk about that in the original video if you guys wanna understand what that does. Um, but we sell, this whole kit will come just like this. We sell it for $350 shipped, that's anywhere in the United States. Um, if you guys are outside of the United States, I don't have a problem shipping outside the United States. Obviously, the uh, freight's going to be a little bit more. We'll figure out, depending on where you are, what it's going to cost. But I have no problem shipping these outside the U.S. Uh, we have a stack of studs and pinion collars ready to go. Um, so if you, guys, if you guys want to buy just the kit itself, like I said, $350, let me know. I can get those shipped out next day. That's pretty easy. Um, the, to, as far as having them installed into the differential, this is a good one that a customer sent in. We're going to go ahead and machine the caps, get the reinforcement kit put in. We set the backlash. We set all the uh, pinion depth with the new pinion collar. Uh, this is $550. That includes the kit. You know, so you send us your differential. We install it with the stud kit for $550 and it goes back to you. Um, then we also have an option if you want to send in a different gear ratio or a different LSD. Um, it's $950. That includes um, putting in the LSD or the gearing. The reason why that costs more is because if you send in an aftermarket LSD, we have to press bearings on, then we have to worry about getting backlash set properly. And if you change gearing, it's a new pinion, which means we have to reset pinion depth. It takes a lot more time. Um, but I think that's still more affordable than most places will do it for you. So we just want to, you know, we just want to get the market to where you guys can have a you know, reliable differentials so at this season, everyone's not, we've already, I think two of these guys already had differentials fail on them this season already. So I don't want to say everybody has their stuff blow up this year and, you know, miss track time. So let's get these taken care of early in the season. You know, we got them sitting here ready to go. Uh, so thanks again, guys. Appreciate the support. We've had, I mean, we've had tons and tons of, um, you know, requests and we've sold tons of products and people seem to be really happy. So let's keep it going. Thanks.